super cute all around fan art and official art of oh, my days. And then we have the <laughs> sorry, the transition. <laughs> Are you interested in the fashion trends of today that you see on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube? Well, apparently DC and comic book fans aren't. I mean, if you look at these fashion trends that were in the 1970s, you know, pretty, pretty good. And then you compare it to the fashion that you see in the highlighter age. I mean, sorry, the silver age of comics. And you really, like, you really have got to think and realise that one is not equaling the other. I can't lie to you. Come on, tell me they weren't taking the mix. Literally, right now, tell me they weren't taking the mic but what are the worst costume designs that have emerged from this era of no shame and no restrictions well i don't know if you expected this because i sure didn't but i think the worst are here i think we found them and and unfortunately they've all got to do with one of our favorite characters uh and his name starts with an r ends with an n I don't have a pun here. It's Robin. <laughs> it's just Robin. <laughs> yeah, because these fan redesigns for Robin, they win no contest. So I'm going to be explaining why they exist and I'm going to be ranking them. And if you have time, check out the description down below. Check it out. All right. All right. So I'm sure you're wondering, Robin fan redesign, what on earth am I talking about? Well, I'm going to get into it. I'm going to explain to you right now what this actually is and why these exist in the first place. Like a good psychology student, I looked at multiple sources to figure out what's going on and I'm pretty sure sure now that I have a, a good clue. So basically, right, the first place I could even find proof of these fan submissions even existing was Batman 259. It was released in 1974 and it's an issue where Batman and Robin fight against a robber from the past and they are working alongside his saviour from the past to defeat this robber and this 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 villain. Yeah, I, I, I read it through. It was a pretty decent story. The dialogue is always pretty funny from this age though, so I, I couldn't really take it fully seriously. Seriously, but there was a lot going on in there. Another place that I could find proof that this existed, these Robin fan designs existed in the first place, so I could then find out what they were, was the Batman family issue 13. Do you want to say hi to the camera? Hi. Your hand didn't get make it into the shot. I know. Okay. What gender is my sibling? I do want you to let me know down what? below. <laughs> Anyways, another place that I could find proof was in the Batman family issue 13. It also appears in issue four, but apparently I <laughs> forgot that in recording. <laughs> so yeah, issue four and issue 13, which are both about the same thing. Man, Bat, Batgirl and Robin trying to save Washington DC from being taken over by villains or something like that. This is different from the Batman 2002 259 i literally can't count but it's different from it because it was much more focused on batman's families alfred helped in these few panels just for the interest of your entertainment and my entertainment alone uh because I, again i was skimming i saw a lot of ads and i just wanted to note that both the batman issue and the bat family issues had a lot of ads and i just want to mention that amongst okay so amongst the selling hostess twinkie cakes selling the three free baseball cards advertising a youth opportunity sales club selling super prizes a, a bunch of books including muscles fat free book and a high school diploma as well as showing daisy bb guns which is apparently still around today a meat snack we have knickknacks at fun factory and there was some other things as well crazy crabs robot toy a bodybuilding course for who? Comic book readers, are you crazy? <laughs> More knickknacks at JAR discounts this time. Super Friends merch, asking for a penny. An announcing of a Superman movie contest. Listen to this, yeah. Lis literally listen to this, okay? I read this thing, okay? Because I was like, curious. I was like, Superman movie contest? What does that mean? So all you had to do was collect coupons send them in that's practically all you had to do and then you entered for the raffle or whatever to go on a free trip a paid trip to dc offices and be in a superman movie what on earth was happening in 1970s what was going on why was i not there do you know what i mean where was my invite <laughs> i feel like i did this all the time where was my invite i was here i mean i wasn't i would have been <laughs> 
if you just let me know and they didn't so just in case you guys were curious i looked this up and basically like this guy tim hussey and ed finneman made it into the movie and they were the mo the winners even though they argue there's no restrictions then no restrictions for for age or racial or gender or whatever but two people who are relatively the same age looked kind of similar <laughs> well not you know they they won which is a bit sus but okay and so they i think they're here dressed in grey without numbers on their uniforms here these two these two i think they were there <laughs> they got paid to run by the actor who was being clock <laughs> they were like yeah hey Amongst all these things, all these things that interrupted the story of the comics, and I'm not even joking, all of these ads in one issue, and they also showed Robin redesigns, and that's where I saw them in between. Uh, bruh. <laughs> Dude, I cropped all of them as well for your viewing pleasure, and they're gonna be explored and ranked and everything. This took me a longer time, longer than it should have, <laughs> longer than I expected to make this video. So these redesigns exist, and this is what I've shown you where they are. But why do they exist? How did they even come to fruition? Well, I only found that out once I found out what issues they were, what, once I knew what to write, once I could see the images and search all of them up until I eventually found something talking about it. And essentially, what these Robin redesigns were, according to an interview and literally just reading the pages themselves, there was a design Robin contest kind of thing. A few different times where they were asking people, hey, what do you think Robin should look like when he gets older? And so the publishers and the people who created all these different comics across different stories of Batman found these letters and these drawings from fans and they basically had their own artists draw these redesigns for us to see as the audience what our fellow fans thought Robin should look like. It's kind of funny because in this interview, Norm Brayfogle, a man who became a Batman <laughs> a comic book artist, was not happy that they redrew it. I mean, you'll see. I don't, I don't know if I'm happy that they redrew it. I feel like it was ruined regardless. We'll see whether it was best that they redrew it or whether it was best he just left it in the drafts and it was never published because some of, some of these are, dude, you're, you're in for a treat. Sit, sit, sit tight, get some food, relax. I don't like ranking things without a key because a key saves me from any hate and it also allows me to be guided by something. And so this key was inspired by Jogathasan et al. I'm so sorry I can't pronounce your name properly. Jogathasan et al is his surname. In 2012, made a study on young Australian consumers that found that style, price, brand, country of origin, and ethics are attributes that can be used and that are used to evaluate denim jeans. Though the respondents prioritized garment attributes over the ethical ones. So really, garment attributes, like the ones I mentioned, are used to evaluate denim jeans. So I'm going to use these kind of as a key, like a combined key, just so that you kind of understand where I'm coming from. So I'm going to go change price to effort. So how much effort was put into the redesign itself or the design of the costume itself. So that study tells me that I should be rating it by how close it is to the branding and the style of Robin and how much effort they put in. But there is one more thing that I should be keeping in mind. Mind. Hi there. From time to time, readers have written in suggesting my boy wonder uniform be updated to give me a more modern teenage image. In fact, some have designed their own concepts for costumes. At the end, it says, do you think the teen wonder should switch to one of these or do you have your own ideas? If you do, send them to Batman family. So that was the Batman family screenshot specifically. And it's very clear that it's for Robin to switch into. So it's definitely for more of a, a young adult kind of vibe because obviously teenage Hood includes young adulthood. This is the younger dick. Younger dick evolved into older teenage dick. Okay, and so what we're looking for is the next step. So in sum, the key is, does this redesign look like Robin? And have they put in the effort to make this redesign for a young adult Robin? This uh, is in the way. <laughs> so I'm gonna just take this off so I can actually read. Everything looks not pink. That's crazy. Okay, so Norm Bjefogel. Oh, I mean, we could go with him first. He was the one in the interview that I mentioned. This guy isn't the Robin I was thinking of i can't lie to you i'm i'm not i'm not feeling it i'm not but at the same time 
I'm understanding it. And that's that's almost more important. I'm understanding he wanted gliders, he wanted the pixie shoes, he wanted to focus on the red, he wanted it to be serious. But this thing over his head, it I don't like it. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. And I, I feel like it's not giving Robin exactly. It's giving like the Mask of Zoro. It's giving Assassin. I would say for now, for now I'm going to give it a pass. This, I understand because Dick is actually someone quite open and stuff. But the style isn't future thinking. You know, we're not getting protection. We're not getting... If you want to do a glider, just be bold. You know, like don't do this little hesitant kind of sticky weird design and then this weird insignificant belt that's not functional at all ultimately uh it's not efficient and so the effort and thinking isn't really there and the branding isn't there so let's go for carol this one this one okay um i think that the colors again very good the effort and branding that's what we're focusing on effort and branding so the effort that has been put into this i mean the dominoes staying the same i do appreciate the mustache is what it is i th honestly now that i look at this this is very good like the shoes are not exactly pixie but they're higher up the belt i'm assuming this is still a utility belt of some kind is pretty good the colors here he looks kind of like a knight i like the cape i, I don't think they could want to keep the cape but i like it he looks kind of like a banker with this thing at the in the like the collar on him i feel like he looks like he's just come back from work but i still feel like this is very robin and very attention to detail with the way that this still folds it's like an adaptation of what we've seen in previous robin designs you know like how we have the folds here and everything we still have the utility belt here and we have the folds here as well actual coverage on the arms and it has a bit of a mature look so honestly i think as an older robin this is pretty solid i would put this as fashion icon if not damn he's dripped out but i think there's a bit of synergy clashing that could could be repaired this one by anthony Kolek goes pretty hard yeah 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 i would i will say we're thinking effort we're thinking branding effort wise you're definitely thinking anthony was thinking you know that he put in effort to think about this another thing with the open v which i actually think dick would wear so i agree i think this is good i think this is good the colors are dimmer that is a good touch the dominoes there as well love it don't like the hairstyle but the hairstyle is obviously changing as time passes pixie shoes i'm not a fan and i don't think he needs his crotch area to look like that as he grows up but if let's say if he had trousers and better boots like the other one by carol i honestly this is another good one like really solid like it's not even like oh wait i see it's like actually could work could work or just with trousers could work and you know we have the capes as well we have the cape which is great i like it i, I think it's definitely thinking about more mature robin definitely all right um okay we're starting with solid good ones i mean some of them are not good but this this one is another one which i can understand and i think the gliders here are much more bold much more intentional than the other one i think carl was thinking good with the colors i like the face i like the hair i think it's definitely very clearly supposed to be dick still the r is it looks wrong to me but maybe that's just me the black on his thing looks like a shadow i don't if that's actually supposed to be on his suit i don't like that at all the leotard implying that there's going to be trousers there i like that i think there's a bit too much red on the top though i think in terms of effort and attention to detail with that style or no no more so branding that fails a bit with the robin i think we need a bit more green up here we need a bit more yellow up here not just in the gliders but i see it wait I see it. I think that's where I'm going to put it. I think it does suit Robin and it does fit Robin as a brand. It also does have effort put in, but I can't. There's no like, ooh, I like that. Okay, and then Jim. Okay. <laughs> Dude, my breath was trapped in my throat. Like my breath was like, like I literally froze just there. You made an attempt. <laughs> the R is has got to go the r just can't be in the middle he's not superman and r i mean at least draw an effing bird like the cape fine the spandex oh the shoes 
Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm impartial to the shoes. I get the concept, but it's like, where is he flying to? Like with those bright colors, where is he flying? He can't even fly. This, I'm feeling radiant, man. Do you know what I mean? So I, I, no, I'm not getting brand effort. I'm kind of seeing it. I mean, it's a complete redesign. He, the, the, Jim redesigned that ish. He, he redesigned, redesigned. Listen, it, it's not like it's an awful design it's just not giving me robin and that's a problem so i think you don't unfortunately brian madigan okay okay by the way i'm saving the worst for last i'm not reviewing any of the really awful ones until the very end because i have a lot to say about them hard to be scrolling like this okay brian madigan i actually love this one it's giving robin it's giving protection the right color amount dude i love this one i'm gonna put this right damn he's dripped out like he is dripped out i really dude i really like this one brian's not doing too much brian is thinking okay shoes cut in the middle we're not gonna make this something complicated we're gonna update the pixie boots without making it too much we're gonna keep the scaly underwear but we're gonna keep the green trousers too we're gonna add some more to him we're gonna make him dripped out we're gonna add some red to the top like always the belt is the same you know we're gonna have some stuff on the belt utility belt it seems like it's a utility belt because of that one like a few black strands yeah so what would have made this better would have just been to take out the green behind this so we can see skin because i feel like that was that's something dick would do and and then maybe make this glider instead because he also just prefers gliders over capes but it isn't very adult like it's not giving me adult it's still giving me teen maybe the cape could be black or maybe they could do gliders there is a bit of changes i would make but apart from that overall it's pretty it's, it's the highest it's the best we've gotten so far so we're getting another good recommendation this might be another i don't know if i hmm the belt is too not vigilante do you know what i mean like it's it's a bit less robin i don't like the white outline out around the r but maybe that's just a scan problem or something doesn't look like it though Ugh. hmm we're getting robin you know attending meetings having fun in the town we're not getting robin saving people those trousers are very inefficient for vigilante work but i do see the adult there's a lot of adult in this and i really like this i'm i'm seeing young adult you know fashionista we're getting the collar but without it looking like he's going to the office a bit more cool the shoes you can barely see them i think this is very impractical so the effort for style is a bit less i think it looks nice but not for a vigilante i don't know if i don't i don't i'm i'm thinking pass it's either pass or wait i see it but the thing is i don't okay the last one from reddit that was pointed out by the commenters was the david tell rico look uh, okay there's a liverpool in new york is that new york no way there's a liverpool there's a suburb called liverpool in new york they're from liverpool yeah anyways mm, the glider is ugly unfortunately it just looks super thin like I, okay i functionality wise i like that it goes all the way to the hands but outside of that i don't like that design at all i think it looks odd the way that it comes all the way up i don't love the red gloves just a bit too much red for me beefy legs we love it beefy arms we love it massive domino on his face not as not a big fan I, can't, I don't even think i can see his nose here so it seems like it's covering his nose as well which is not a good thing i do appreciate he looks like an older guy like a guy i just think that if david covered his arm and the utility belt was all around his waist i don't know something different i actually think this would be a really good way of doing it i actually do enjoy david's like i do like it you know what oh. okay you know what i'm gonna put it out wait i see it the next one is chris chris baker okay 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 oh <laughs> did he get half dressed 
did he put on his vest and then forget the shirt underneath i don't know why chris thought this was acceptable because it doesn't pass like it, okay robin redesign you're bringing the same pixie short as before so no change there pixie boots no change there chris was like no i'm not i'm not here to innovate i'm here to adhere to the schedule and so chris in his effort to make sure that he stuck to robin took away robin's clothes which is very suspicious very suspicious chris very suspicious i don't know why that was your first thought the thing is right when you're redesigning a character to have an older look a different look you're looking at other examples or you should have been but that's what i'm saying with, with a lot of these with the most of these they don't even look at their fashion of that time examples they don't even look at fashion trends two triangles on his butt like what with a r in the middle who who listen if there was yellow or or green or or anything underneath this so that he was clothed but this was over his clothing i'd have been like hmm all there is is shading there, there is no indication of of a utility belt here no indication so it's not functional his skin is all out it's not functional it's barely robin barely next up is this one david another david damn when was the, you gonna tell me that there was another kryptonian this th whoa dude you oh this okay bold choice to change the pants and make it yellow another bold choice to make everything green and then yeah and then put the r on the belt i understand where you're coming from hate the mustache and the headgear makes me think of just superman is he from krypton I'm, i need to know but if the red domino is i mean i understand they're trying to keep the red in and i appreciate that color wise you know there's a lot of effort going in here to keep the colors balanced i do appreciate that and to cover the limbs and everything something about this kind of sucks and again we're not talking art style because the art style is not great i mean i literally just have to look at dan mora's art because of oh my super cute all around fan art and official art on oh my days and then we have sorry the transition <laughs> the transition from a to b to c wasn't as smooth as i thought it would be but listen this isn't robin it's close but it's just not and ironically even though i don't like that the r for the center of his chest and i do like the fact that it's on his belt i think something in the middle of his chest would have brought this together better it wouldn't have been robin but it would have made it look better oh, this is tough i would put this in you don't pass eric s okay eric steadman eric steadman Hmm, a bit too Aquaman for my taste. The R being blue is a complete missed opportunity. It should have been yellow. Hands down, it should have been yellow. I like this use of scale on his shirt, at, the, at his shoulders, but at the same time, it kind of reminds me too much of an Atlantean. And it makes me feel like he should be diving underwater. Do you like the fact that he had a belt? A tiny belt. Does it look like Robin? Questionable. The scales are a bit too much. The, the cape seems like it's overflowing. And that feels like intentional. The red being predominant is, is one thing the green hands is nice i mean i think dimmer colors do well to make someone look more mature and i think a lot the more predominant color of green and uh, that shade is actually pretty good to make him seem a bit older a bit more mature i do like it i understand where you're coming from and i understand even the thing uh, around his neck like the collar around his neck what that is supposed to represent but at the same time i feel like it just looks a bit too much around his neck like it's it's choking him in a sense it's not giving him any breathing room there's effort being put in here but the robin is such a crucial thing and i think that that means that yeah it, it, it has to fail it has to okay let's look at this one. Oh, i don't know what that logo is supposed to be maybe a bat it kind of looks like a bat which is not my choice i just want you to know that i'm ride or die for batman but the thing is i just think that they need to be their own individual characters otherwise it doesn't work i think if there was only if there was one person who would want to have a bat maybe maybe tim maybe damien but dick dick is not gonna have a bat on him no so maybe i mean i don't think that's a, it could be a bird as well but regardless it's illegible it's not good the positioning's ugly i it's bad and ugly and it's just oh it's ugly i hate it and it's only one side at least put it in the middle like it looks really awful and weird the half and half hands i mean are you two-faced the the shoes being even more inconvenient to walk in and more fat and stuff just the half and half pants as well i do i like the idea of a half and half 
cloak. I hate the idea that you thought to put green in the inside and not the outside because the green on the outside would have had more stealth, but green on the inside does literally nothing. Also, not gonna lie, the domino mask is awful. It's way too high coverage on his cheekbones and his face looks like he has like some um, facial hair dots and he has a double chin like me. Maybe that's just his neck. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan either way. I, I just think there's not really any logic. But it doesn't make me want to throw up. So I guess this is another case of this. I might have to reshuffle this at the very end. Okay, so there's this one by Jamie Hightower. I don't hate it. This is interesting. The shoes are bulkier, but they don't impede on the usability of them because it's very high up bulky so it's out of the way there is nothing on his legs which i'm not a fan of but there is the belt there is a more stable like black shorts his hands are red Wait, what is going on with his cape is it black on the inside or is that supposed to be shadow because if that's supposed to be a shadow that's a harsh shadow i can't lie so the logo i like the logo i like the wings i wouldn't have put a big logo in the middle of robin and i think there are better logos but i do think that this is all right the domino mask is probably one of the better ones we've seen it doesn't completely dwarf his nose or his face or his cheeks or anything it's just normal his hair is also probably one of the better uh, we've seen his thick and luscious but he his chin is still there and he looks a bit older his legs are very thick blah, blah, blah. he looks pretty fine pose is pretty funny i don't know what on earth the pose is supposed to mean but yeah i could say this passes because nothing in it makes me like want to like oh like, do you know what i mean like nothing is making me jolt back could pass for robin could maybe pass for robin kind of like the one here honestly it passes a bit more i think than this one this one was dreamed up by michael o Celea in arizona tuxin arizona okay logo wise i'm i like the logo i i the red in the middle a miss an absolute miss take out the red and highlight the silhouette make it a bit clearer to see you've got a solid logo like this is what i was talking about like a silhouette of a bird it's a solid logo the color scheme the the is great the utility belt is great okay this is one definitely one of the higher ones definitely one of the higher ones i think exposing his arms makes him look a bit young but it also makes him look old i'm kind of conflicted domino is a great shape on his nose definitely doesn't take up too much space a lot of effort gone into here just to make it sleek and simple robin but without making him look too young so it kind of shields the fact that he doesn't have the pants anymore because it has a long thing at the end okay for now that's where i'm putting it at the top because it there's just nothing that i don't like about it one of those heroes that fly like he doesn't actually look like he's a flying hero of course i would prefer maybe a glider but even then like he doesn't look like he's gonna take off and fly because of how low this is maybe because it shows that he's like on the ground you know like it's it's covering the hips and everything his, his waist and all of that stuff yeah i, I and i like the, the change of the the shoes i think it looks nicer like that as well kind of like superman but without too much superman and honestly if they took off the cape maybe just made it glider i think that would be absolute perfect okay next is oh my god this is the last one before the top five worst that i've selected out of these okay oh this is what wow what a tough one to start with so number six <laughs> we're already at number six crazy oh god <laughs> dude loki is this actually gonna be my next f dude dude <laughs> come on <laughs> The wings on the feet, the wings on his shirt, this nonsense that's supposed to be holding his cape together, the R, the dom, what kind of, the chest hair is something I really don't like. I don't, I don't, I don't appreciate the chest hair at all. I'm not seeing a utility belt because that's black and a utility belt cannot be completely just a black, a void of nothing. There is a lot of effort, but I think your, the effort that Robert put in, like Robert, I'm really sorry, but Robert, you put in some effort to make this look awful and uh, number six <laughs> literally this is not timed or planned i this is supposed to be completely random and yet you what on earth like it just it's a mess it's an absolute mess robert what were you thinking this is not this is not what dick is gonna look like when he grows older this is not even the same character dude <laughs> this is a different person <laughs> just strange like, ugh. i mean actually i say that but we got the top five worst 
coming up now finally finally we're there okay so yeah we've got the last five i mean if you want these about that listen just be ready <laughs> just be prepared because i am a harsh critic so you know you know some are coming up you know <laughs> So, oh my god, okay. So coming up in number five is Steve Diaz. This was one of the worst of the worst of the worst of the bunch. Why Steve thought it was great to make Robin look like he's gonna cry, for one, is is not even feasible. Just that expression means that he's not Robin because that's not an expression Robin pulls. The, the belt is fair enough. The logo isn't. The yellow on yellow or the yellow on slightly orange yellow is just a bit too yellow for my taste. I do actually think now looking and thinking back at the previous dominoes that I saw, I don't think the domino is the worst thing. I don't like the cowl at all. I think it's not in line with Robin at all. Listen, it's, you know what, looking back, I don't think it's the worst designed. I just think it's entirely inappropriate and not looking like Robin at all. I mean, the good thing about it is the cape is the same, even though I hate these dots that hold it together, like very obnoxious. And the utility belt is there, which is, you know, I know Steven was trying to keep the pixie shoes and the gloves. It's like just excusing the whole idea of everybody asks who is Robin, but nobody asks how is Robin. What was the point? Like, I don't get it. He looks like a baby in a teenager's body, but I mean, to be fair, he does have a bit better of a hero vibe than anything else no uh, you know what i'll put him at eel for now because oh the next one wait number four in tacoma wash steven so we saw a good logo just before this a few before this and um this isn't one of them <laughs> this isn't one of them dude he looks like he has a snout and is into BDSM. Like, he looks like a furry with his nose like that and his eyes like that. It's just, it's, it's not, it's, it's not giving. <laughs> it's, it's not giving. <laughs> the vibe is just, and it, it feels off even worse because he's swinging from a rope. And it's just the, sh like, the leather, the shoes, or the, the, it looks like leather on his leg. Like, it literally looks like he's about to go to a sex dungeon. Like, the cowl is even worse here. Is I mean, geez, at least the other one <laughs> tried. <laughs> like, this just, dude. I don't even see much place for a utility belt. Steve Smith, maybe you should be doing whatever your day job is. Please don't draw anymore. Don't just don't do it. Don't do it. I'm gonna just put this <laughs> in you as well. That's not even that is not even in the same hemisphere as what I would classify as Robin. <laughs> Ah, uh, but at least he looks like a human. At least he looks like a human, okay? Oh, because the next one. Tom Probasco from Iowa decided Robin should have glider wings. And riddle me this, Tom. Yes, Robin should have glider wings. But Robin should also be a human being. And this, <laughs> this does not look like a human being in this Robin outfit. <laughs> he looks disgusting and flat. That's the, probably the worst criminal thing is hidden, I think. Are you trying? Are you trying? Okay, utility belt. Yeah. But it's so overly red and it has like things on his arm. Another one. In what hemisphere is this Robin? What? There's no connection except from the colors and the idea. There is no connection to the Robin outfit. Not one. This this logo or whatever that is, from, we can't really see it from the side. It's just not great. It's, it looks like a like a like a cow's dumbbell or the a cow's bell thing. Like it's hanging from his. It looks like it's hanging from his neck. And it's like a Christmas like leaves or something growing on his arm. Why is he on his tippy toes? What the? F this just looks like thin, tiny curtains. You know, like not even fabric that matters. And also it's tied to his back. Tom really screamed crippled from the rooftops. Do you know what I mean? Just remember that these were letters and drawings that these people wrote and created. And and he, he must have just written, I want Robin to look like a bed. Like Tom making problems. That's all he does. Tom problems. What a failure, dude. It sucks. I'm <laughs> no, dude. That's not Robin. And the effort you put in to make that look so like a crippled is very suspicious. Like, are you a fairy? But the thing is, at least it has a utility belt. At least it's somewhat practical. At least I can imagine him fighting in it kind of because the next one you know what's so criminal is that finally this full masked 
costume from Craig Sarton Pasco Wash isn't actually awful without that mask. Without that mask, this outfit is fine. I mean, it's certainly not great, but that mask? Like, what? Craig, you must have had the plague. What the hell is on his face? Were you too vague when you wrote that letter? That was an intentional rhyme, by the way. I could, if you, could you explain what's on his face? Because I can't understand it. Literally, I, <laughs> I don't understand. Like the R on his mouth, the placement, the R, everything ruined, stupid, why? The, th the, the space of green on his head, the, the red, is it? Rid Riddler? But my mind is like wiped clean in a bad way. Like I where's Dan Morrill's art? So we got this, we got this Robin, we got this Robin. Oh, that was that was tough. That was tough of a transition. This is despicable and I hate it more than I can even express. Like I, I can't even find the words to explain how much I hate his face right now. Okay, let me just put it let me let me put it on the tier list. Ew! But the thing is, somehow it makes more sense than this last one and just brace yourself i think you should pause this video honestly <laughs> yeah just 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 take a second because <gasps> michael Donian, chatsworth caliph that's where he's from michael <laughs> dude at least the others are trying to make a costume you michael <laughs> So I did say the bat symbol would be bad on Robin's chest, but this, you did not try. Show me where you tried. Literally show me where you tried. You did not try at all, dude. <laughs> you gave up. You shouldn't, why didn't you even submit? Were you half asleep? Were you on weed? Coke, what made you draw and write this? He doesn't even look like a hero anymore. <laughs> he looks like Magneto, dude. <laughs> Okay, the elephant in the room. Why did he fuse with Batman? <laughs> Why? Did he... Dude, when he walks, so does this mini <laughs> You see the eyes here? And the frown and the legs. So every step he takes, he's walking with Bruce. This is illegal. <laughs> you can't do this. Dude, he looks like a 50 year old who never got over his daddy issues and just fused with him. <laughs> And now he has a neck brace. This is why this is the last one because this is not even Robin-esque. It's not even Justice League-esque. It's not even hero-esque. He looks like a villain, <laughs> okay? And the effort, I'm telling you, there was no thought. I don't even think, did Michael even know what he was signing up for? Did he read Robin Ruin contest? You can't make this up. You literally can't make this shit up. You cannot. Just, oh. <laughs> that is dead last, dude. Dead last. <laughs> we have Michael Dunyon, the legend who created this absolute train wreck of a Robin redesign. This specifically is the worst, <laughs> pretty much, except for maybe Deathwing and Zebra Batman. The worst costume i've ever seen in my life it's despicable oh my god okay so let me just just before we're over i'm just gonna double check that i agree and that i like where i've rated everyone because i i just want to i just want to check okay <laughs> my brain is just don't have much more to say i've tried my best to make this this make sense to make this video feasible make it i dude and that's how i rank them from the depths of my heart i'm i'm so sorry to expose you to this if you just search online there, there, there's opportunities there's help and if you go to better help actually <laughs> I'm not sponsored, so please don't. What do you think? Do you agree with my ranking system? If you can stand to look at these? I made this into a tier list because I put so much effort into it. I feel like I don't want anyone else to put the same amount of effort because that's just jarring. So feel free to use this tier list as your pleasure. It should be in the description below. If it's not, I'll just let me know, but it definitely should be. And yeah, um, yeah, uh, yeah, Jan Yong. Listen, if you see Michael Dunyon on the street, you better avoid that guy. <laughs>